the jungles of in the, in the Philippines. Anybody ever seen the jungles, right? It, it, it's a treacherous terrain. It's yeah. snakes and all kind of stuff. And, and the soldiers were dying. They were just dropping off like hotcakes because if the heat didn't kill them, maybe uh, something else killed them. But it was 121 soldiers, volunteer army rangers said, we cannot let the enemy do our brothers this kind of way. And they had the courage to go behind enemy lines and rescue their fellow soldiers. I can imagine the look on the soldier's face when it looked like they was facing imminent death. But then somebody came to the rescue. No doubt it looked bad. You saw some of your fellow soldiers falling by the wayside. But somebody came to the rescue. Man. History records it was another incident. It was to anybody ever been on a cruise ship? Hopefully I'm gonna go one day. That's the plan, baby. We're going on a cruise ship. But I, I've seen in the magazine the huge ships. And it was two cargoes. And they were traveling. And it was traveling in the midst of a lot of fog. And at the time, technology wasn't so modern where they could be able to detect other ships. And because of the fog was so heavy that they collided. And when they collided, it was over a thousand passengers and over 500 crew members on board. Anybody remember the story of the Titanic? When they built the Titanic, they said the Titanic couldn't be sunk. But guess what? It sunk. Anything that man built can be sunk. But my God, when this ship crashed, it looked like the outcome was going to be like the Titanic. Over 500 gallons of seawater began to pour into the ship. And it looked like death was imminent. But they went through the process of crying out the distress calls and over 11 ships heard the distress calls and it came to their rescue and it took 11 hours before the ship sank but let me tell you only 46 people lost their life look at the great rescue but I got a rescue that's even greater than that when God came he rescued mankind. Yes. Mankind was in a bad predicament. But God said, I got to go down. I got to redeem man back. Uh, the greatest rescue uh, of all time. Uh, when God sent his only begotten son uh, to redeem us back to God. Uh, oh God. Because man had to die. Because man sinned. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is a just God. Amen. And God demands that sin be dealt with. And because of man's sin, God had to punish man. But God loved man. He said, I'm going to send my son. Because the Bible said that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God. Amen. God said, I. Man is in need of rescue. Huh? His pride is creation. Then God contaminated by the enemy. Oh God, like, like Brother Travis, like we're in the OR, when, when they got the field contaminated. When the field is contaminated, you got to break it down, right? God, mankind got contaminated with sin. And so God said, I got to make it right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The great rescue. Yeah. He said, and to understand how great the rescue was, yeah. you need to know the whole story. Yeah. I, I heard the pastor, he was breaking it down. He said, we sometimes, we want to know the ending. <laughs> we skip past all the beginning yeah. and the middle part. And we think that's the boring part. But what you don't know, that is the foundation. So you can know the whole story. To know of the great rescue of man, you got to know the whole story. And 
And the whole story starts in the heavens. Oh God, it starts with that old Satan, Lucifer. Oh God, Isaiah called him the sun in the morning. But my God, have you fallen the scriptures out? And Isaiah, and Isaiah records that how Satan got lifted up in his heart. And Satan said, I want to be like the most high. And I'm going to exalt my throne above the stars. And then when he warned him, he said that, God had to remove him from heaven. And the scripture also says, I saw Satan fall as lightning. Yeah, man. That's true. Kicked out of heaven. So who is this Satan? Who is he? If you pick it up in Ezekiel, and he begins to tell you of the background of Satan, and he says about the king of Tyre, my God, in Ezekiel, I think it's 26, and he begins to say that thou was perfect in the day that thou was made. You were the anointed sheriff. You was covered with all precious stones, the diamond, the beryl, the topaz. These were all in your covers. And you had the hops, uh, the fights out of him. Say ain't that guy with no pitchfork. You deceived. Satan was beautiful. Uh, he said, Thou was perfect. In the day. Let's go to that. I wonder. Get that pitchfork out of mine. That ain't him. Twenty-six. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, uh -huh. Son of man, right. take up a lamentation of right. the king of Tyre. Right. Say unto him, uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord, right. Thou sittest up the song, full of wisdom, uh -huh. and perfect in you. Right. Thou hast been in Eden, right. the garden of God. The garden of God. Every precious stone. Every precious stone. What's thy covering? What's your covering? The sardis. Uh -huh. The topaz. Uh -huh. And the diamond. Uh, right. The barrel. Right. The onyx. Uh -huh. And the jasper. The sapphire. Uh -huh. The emerald. Right. And the carbuncle. And gold. Right. The workmanship of thy tablets. And of thy pipes which were prepared in thee. In the day that thou wast created. Right. Thou art the anointed cherub. The anointed cherub. That covered. That covered. And I have set thee so. Uh huh. But thou was, thou was upon the holy mountain of God. The holy mountain of God. And I have walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Right. And thou was perfect in thy ways. Perfect in thy ways. From the day that thou was created. Uh huh. Till iniquity was found in thee. Until iniquity was found in him. Satan is was where you are trying to get to. Uh, make no mistake about it, the devil is your enemy. Sometimes we play patty cake with the devil, but you're sleeping with the enemy. The enemy, he's trying to stop you from getting to your destiny. Amen. Preach, man. He was in the mountain of God. What we're trying to get there, he was there. But he was cast out. He, when you cast out, you got put on the outside. You don't know what's going on. You ain't in the inner circle no more. Uh, when, you, when, they, when you was in school, when they put you out of that little group, you don't know the plans that, that was going on. And when God put Satan out, God began to do a new thing. God began to make man. And he made man in the image of God. But Satan was not there. Satan was on the outside. And so when man was made, man was made holy. Man was made in the image of God. Man did not know no sin. And he made man, he created him. And he put him in the midst of the garden. And he said, of every tree in the garden, you can eat. But the tree that's in the midst of the garden, don't you eat. Because in the day that you eat it, you shall surely die. And God said, I am not a man that I should lie. He told him that they would die. But my God, pick up old Susan. Pick up old Lucifer. He didn't go to the man. He went to the woman. And he said, did God say that if you eat up the tree, you would die? 
And when Eve began to say that God said, if you eat of the tree, you would die. And here goes Satan, the father of all lies. He began to say, oh no, you won't die. But God knows that your eyes going to become open. And you're going to become as God, knowing both good and evil. And so Eve looked at the fruit, and it looked good to her. And she took up the fruit, and she gave it to her husband. Misery love company. You don't want to be in the boat by yourself. So she went and got Adam. And Adam ate the fruit. And my God, and it looked like they didn't die. But let me tell you, they died spiritually. Man. Yeah, hallelujah. Amen. Uh, Amen. Satan tricked him. Oh, he's a liar. He's a liar. Yeah. You got to know the enemy. He don't come but to steal, to kill, or to destroy. Yeah. Yeah. They died spiritually. Yeah, they were already naked and didn't even know. Innocence. You ever seen a baby? A baby run around naked and don't even know they're naked. But when they get a certain age, they want to start covering up. Huh? Mama, don't come in here. I'm, I'm getting dressed. Uh, that nature, that nature had been contaminated, been contaminated by an enemy. See, you were in Eden. You had it, we had it made. But sin came. And God had to deal with sin. And so God had to put them out. He kicked them out of sin. He kicked them out of the garden. So there was a separation between God and man. Oh God, if you look at the nature of man, man began to get perversely wicked. And the earth was filled with violence. And God had to destroy man. But when he destroyed man, man came back with Noah and his family. Man was still wicked. Man still could not live right because sin was wrapped. Because your nature is a sinful nature. Yes. Oh God, you don't have to tell a child how to put the shoe on the wrong foot. They're going to put it on the wrong foot because of sin is in the nature. But my God, somebody had to go rescue man. Somebody had to bring him back. Yes. God loved man. Man was God's prize creation. You were created in the image of God. Oh God, and here come the devil. He done separated you from God. So God said, I got to bring man back. Amen. Come on. Somebody got to go get him. Somebody got to bring man back. Who is fit to go on the rescue? Who is fit to go in the battle and bring man back? Oh God, we got great patriarchs. Abraham, the father of righteousness, the one that God said, your seed gonna be like the stars in the heaven. It's gonna be like the sand on the shore. He won't work. He couldn't do it. He had sin on him. He wasn't able. Moses, the great deliverer, brought the children out of Egypt. Yes. God worked wonderful. Yes. Deliver him with the ten plagues. Go ahead. To the Red Sea. Yes. Cross the Red Sea. Yes. Oh God, Moses was a type of Christ to the Israelites. When they were smitten by the serpents, God told Moses, make a brazen serpent, put it on the rock, and they look to it. I hear him. But Moses couldn't do it. Moses couldn't do it. Moses had an eagle point. He was weak. But he had an eagle point. Oh God. He couldn't do it. My God. David, mighty man of God. He killed the lion. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 David was anointed. Yes. This small, ready little boy uh -huh. going against this giant. Yes. It won't by might. No it won't by power. Yes. But it won't by God. Yes. But he couldn't do it. Yes. David, as you said, he was a people in time. 
a womanizer, a murderer. Yes. He can do it. He had sin on Uh huh. Sin. Sin. Disqualified. It contaminated him. The field was contaminated. Nobody could do it. My God. Oh God. Elijah caught up in a whirlwind. Yes. Never saw death. But he couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. He had Adam being on. Yes, sir. He was contaminated. Yes. Elijah. He called it out there. Come on. Morning man. He told Elijah, I desire a double portion of your spirit. And Elijah told him, he said, you ask some hard things. But if you see me, when I'm taken up, it shall be done to you. And it came to pass. My God, when Elijah went across the river Jordan, he smote it and went across it. And Elisha went behind him. And when he went across a chair of fire came, and Elijah went up to heaven. Yes. My God. But he couldn't do it. Elisha grabbed the man, went back to the water, smote it. Where yes. the God of Elijah walked across him on dry ground? He couldn't do it. Yes. Elijah was so anointed. Yes, he was. Yes. His bones were anointed. Holy Yes. He was dead in the grave. And the Bible says they killed the man. And they laid him in the same grave with Elijah. And when he touched those bones, the man came back alive. He couldn't do it. God said, ain't nobody worth it. Nobody. I got to go on the great rescue myself. Oh God. And God said, prepare me a body. Let me go out and redeem me. And God came and the Holy Spirit overshadowed Mary. And Mary became impregnated by the Holy Ghost. And she birthed the Holy thing. She birthed Jesus Christ, the Savior. Oh God, in the likeness of a sinful flesh. He came down here. He was on a mission. He was here to do the will of the Father. He was on a mission. He worked many miracles, but he was on a mission. My God, the disciples got attached to him. Because when Jesus began to perform miracles, they liked that. Everybody liked to be a part of the top thing. Everybody liked to be on top. But Jesus was on a mission. But when it really got to the point where Jesus began to talk about his true mission, he had just exhorted Peter. And he said, Thou art Peter. And upon this rock, I'll build my church. Then put Peter on the top shelf. Then gave Peter the keys to the kingdom. But my God, but when he said, I got to go to Jerusalem and be offered up. Peter began to say, not so, Lord. God had to turn around and rebuke him. Hallelujah. He did. Get me behind me, I'm on a mission. See, you in bad shape, and you don't even know you in bad shape. See, if I stay with you, you're going to still keep lying right on. If I stay with you, you're going to keep on denying me. But that's why. I gotta complete my mission. I, my God, what did Peter say? He said, Lord, I die for you. Oh, that was the flesh talking. The so flesh can say boasting things. But my God, but when the truth for the matter, when it gets hot, the flesh can't take it. And it came to pass. When Jesus was taken away, Jesus won't there. Peter was by himself. And they came to Peter. And they said, Peter. Ain't you one of them? Oh no, not me. Oh, then let it go. Yes, you are. You sound like one. Your speech betrayed you. And Peter began to curse. He began to swear. This is the one that said, I'll die for you. But he wasn't able. He won't ready yet. The perfect sacrifice wasn't made yet. God knew he won't ready. But my God, God went on 
him about his business. He went there. He let him offer him up. Yeah. That's true power. Oh, yeah. Amen. You don't understand true power. Yeah. People think power is one exercising it all the time. Right. Power is be able to show the strength. Yeah. Here he is. God in the flesh. Yeah. He let man handle him. Yeah. His creation. Yeah. He let him handle him. Yeah. My God. He is. Man. Without spot. Woo. Without blinks. Me. I don't like to be blamed for something I didn't do. But here's Jesus. My God. He stands accused. Our Lord and Savior, he's accused. He ain't never done nothing wrong. All he did was do good. He healed the sick. He opened the eyes of the blind. He fed over 10,000. Oh, God, as a pastor preacher, he stopped the funeral possession. Oh, God, what matter of evil did this man do? He did nothing but good. But he was made as he did bad. But he was made that way for you. He was made that way for I. Yes. But yet he suffered. And he went before Pilate. My God. And Pilate began to look at him. And Pilate knew that the man did not do no wrong. His heart knew that Jesus was in. And my God, he went to the people. And he said, which would you rather go free? Barabbas a murderer or Jesus a murderer or an innocent man. Oh God, but you know what the people chose? They did not choose Jesus. They chose a murderer to go free. Oh God, a murderer. Oh God, Jesus was later more than a murderer. But my God, it was all in the plan of God. My God, they let Barabbas go. And then Pilate said, what should we do with it? They said, crucify him. Pilate said, what? What man of evil have this man done? And Pilate said, let me wash my hands. I don't want nothing to do with this. Because this man is innocent. But this was the will of the Father. The Son had to be offered up. He had to be the rescuer. Thank you, Lord. And right before he was in the garden of 
Gethsemane. He said, Father, if it's thy will, let this cup pass. Because he didn't want to drink it. But he said, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Yes, he did. You're going to call 10,000 leads away. Oh, yeah. yeah. Stay right there. If you'd have did that, we'd have still been lost. Hallelujah. We would have had no hope. Thank you, Lord. He took the pain. He wanted me to the pain. He took on the pain. But he hung there. He hung there. And even so, God turned his back on the son. Yes, he did. When he took on the sins of the world. Hallelujah. God covered the earth with darkness from the sixth to the ninth hour. And Jesus cried which means my God my God why has thou forsaken me God can't be communed with sin he had to turn his back on Thank you, Lord. but this was the plan of God he had you in mind he had me in mind oh God he hung down oh God and he said I thirst Oh, previous of water. They came and gave him some vinegar to drink. And when they gave him vinegar, Jesus said, It is finished. Oh, God. Another writer said, Father, in my hands, I commend my spirit. And he gave up the ghost. He died. Old man, deaf guy. Ah. I got Jesus. Amen. Looked like death had the victory. Yeah. Uh, but he didn't know the plan of God. Yeah. Jesus was going to rescue me. Yeah. He was coming to rescue us. Yeah. He was coming to reconcile us back to God. Yes. Oh, God. Oh. He died. He yeah. died. And he went in to the depths of hell. Yes, he did. And he preached to the captives in hell. Yes, he did. Uh, uh, they heard the gospel. Oh, God. And the enemy looked like they had defeated Jesus. Oh, God. And he is in the borrowed tomb of Joseph Arimathea. He's, it was a borrow, like you said. Because he had to give it back. I ain't going to stay there for long. Because the scripture says, as Jonah was in the bed of the well for three days, so was the son of the man. And got the 
stone and he rolled it away. Oh God, and the men that were guarding the tomb, they were as dead men. All their weapons, they couldn't do nothing. But it was the plan of God. God said, I got the rescue man. Yes. I go down in the grave. But when I get up, all power is given unto me. Power over death, hell in the grave. Oh God, Jesus got up. And when he got up, he went and appealed to his disciples. He went to encourage them. He said, my God, look at me. Look at me. Oh God, Jesus. I thought you were dead. He said, no. Look at me. Look at me. Touch me. Touch me. And see if I'm real. Oh, look at the nails in my head. Look at the holes. But he said, blessed are thou. They didn't see it. And but they believed. You need another picture you had to look at. But the blessed are those that didn't see it and they believed. But my God, he didn't leave them there. But they won't rescue you yet. But God said, let me tell you something. Go, 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 go. He gave them a directive. Go to Jerusalem and tarry to you be endured with power from on high. And on the way, I'm going to get you back to me. You got to receive my spirit from this perfect sacrifice. And they went and they was all gathered together in the upper room. Look at somebody say upper room. Gathered together on one accord. When we all on one accord, it's amazing what can happen. When we get rid of our isms and our schisms and we come together, it's amazing about the glory that can fall. They were all together. And the Bible said there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the whole house. It didn't only fill the front, it filled the whole house. And set on every one of them. And every one of them begin to speak in other tongues as the Spirit of God gave up. They begin to receive the Spirit of God. Oh God. They got some strength. Oh God. They got some backbone. Oh God. When they got strengthened, oh God, they was able to go on and be great victims for Christ. Peter begin to stand up and they begin to think that these people were sick. And Peter said, these men, they are not drunken as you suppose. It is too early for that. But this is what that was spoken about. The 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 in the last day, I'm going to pour out my spirit for all flesh.
you shout. Yes. But you ain't been rescued. Yeah. Yes. Uh, 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 you lost. Uh, uh, you singing real well. Yeah. But you lost. Uh, Son, you playing the music real well, but you lost. Oh, baby, you got a good voice, but you lost. You lost. Oh, baby, I like the way you come to church, but unless you receive the Holy Ghost, you lost. You're going to die in your sin. The thing is, you can't receive the Holy Ghost. Communion with sin. Amen. Uh, we don't preach about the Holy Ghost. Amen. Uh, uh, we got too much other things going on. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I got a date with Susie tomorrow. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't got time to preach about the Holy Ghost. Yeah. My conscience is going to condemn me. Uh, so I'm going to leave that alone. Let's clap your hands and give God a praise. Clap your hands. Give God a praise. Uh, we ain't gotta, we gotta have an altar call. We don't want nobody to deliver. Uh, we don't, we don't want it hot in here. Uh, my sin might get exposed, uh, but we come to make it hot. Oh God, because hot fire exposes the enemy. That's right. Fire exposes the devil. He need to be exposed. Yeah. He need to pull the collar over. That's right. I don't want the service to get too hot. Uh, I ain't ready to let this habit I got go yet. Uh, I got a habit. Uh, I can't let it go. Uh, I like to get a sip of the drip, as they say. Uh, uh, just a little bit. A little bit. I don't, I don't drink but a bottle. Uh, in a week. Uh, uh, but you're addicted. You're bound. You need to be delivered. But God is able to deliver. God ain't no weak God. That's why. God is able to deliver. He's able. I saw a strong guy in a mighty God. Yes. Every addiction. Don't stand a chance with God. Huh. I ain't talking about no three months. I'm talking about instantly. Huh. Oh, dead eyes. I remember your testimony. I ain't never seen you drink. In all my years in the house, I ain't never seen a Budweiser in the refrigerator. I ain't never seen no wine. But I remember your testimony. And you said instantly, God took the taste of alcohol out of your mouth. That you used to buy the beer for the boys. And you bought the beer for everybody else. But you set yours in the middle of your lap. And then when you got home, you took the beer and you threw it over the fence. And you never drank another day. I'm talking about yesterday. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 you submit to God, God will take it away. Uh, God ain't weak. Uh, you got a problem. Come to God. This is the place to get your problem fixed. Amen. Uh, uh, you in need of being rescued. Rescue you from your sin. Uh, that's why he came. That's why he hung there. Uh, he thought of me. He thought of me. Uh, one day, over a thousand some years later, I could over Lewis. Senior would be born. Oh God, and he needed to be saved. I'm a hate. He thought of you. Yes, he knew it. And he hung there for you. Thank you, Lord. And when you have been rescued, yeah. nobody can never take that from you. I don't care if you don't believe I will say. You can say, oh, he's a hypocrite. He ain't got nothing. 
but your words don't do nothing for me. Because I know what my Lord and Savior done for me. I know what happened. I know how I was before I was saved. And one day it pressed upon me that I needed to be saved. I was told many times, son, you needed to be saved. But nothing didn't click. I still wanted to do my own thing. I wanted to do what Michael wanted to do. I even called myself. I getting away from home. I moving up to Greensboro. I'm going to do my own thing. But let me tell you, you can't run from God. If God got a want for you, he going to get you. And I went to Greensboro. And I did my own thing for a season. But guess what? Way in Greensboro. God began to trouble me. And I remember, I think I told the testimony before. I had a, a big music collection. And I had I was going in the store to buy Keep Sweat. It's uh what twisted. Uh, you remember that song, right? Yes. Keep Sweat Twisted. I had the album in my hand. I was going by. I got to the counter. And when I got to the counter, a boy said, You got to give it up. Uh -huh. Oh, stuck me in my tracks. I stood there for a minute. I'm with my boys now. I got my entourage with me. Okay, all right, go ahead. Let me put it back. I was shook. I was shook. Uh, uh. Oh God, I gotta give it up with the word. God was speaking to me. I had a CD book. I couldn't even open it. And I began to feel out of place. I said, man, I got to, I got to leave this place, man. This ain't fun to me no more. And I began to kind of get a lot of long time to myself. I began to read the Bible. Some I understood and some I didn't. I came home and I told my mom and dad, I said, no, I'm going to sit out of school. I need to kind of get myself together. I didn't tell them what was all going on, but I was troubled. Yeah. And I began to seek God. I began to seek Him. And I know God had His hand on me because I couldn't, that whole... All that music I had, that rap junk I had, it, that big and small Wu Tang, I had all of that. <laughs> had all of that. Amen. Took it away from me. I put it in a bag. Gave it away. Yeah. And he began to work on me. And I went to come to church, and it seemed like every time I went, Bush Call would wear me out. Every message seemed like it was directly sent to me. And that was God working on me through the man of God. He was calling to me. And I remember one thing Bishop told me. He said, Son, God got a work for you. And my God, and I kept on pressing. I knew I won't see him yet. Oh God, sometimes we rush the process. It's a process you got to go through. And you rush it. You take the cake out of the oven too fast. Oh God, stay there and let God miss you. Stay down in the God. Stay out in the word of God. And let God miss you. And I kept pressing. I kept coming. I got whipped, but I kept coming. I kept coming. Let me tell you, on one Saturday night, September the 20th, i never forget that day, 1997. I was standing in the midst of the service, and I was praising God. And God came in and lifted me up off my feet and laid me down. I didn't hit the ground hard. He laid me down like a little baby. And I began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit of God. I've been rescued. I was brought back. Oh, God. And when I was rescued, I went outside. Everything looked different. The wind felt different. The stars looked different. You looked different. You looked different. 
because I was washed in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Everything is good. Oh. Everything is good. Oh, God. Yeah. God done rescued me. Yeah. I was lost, but now, now I'm found. I'm in fire. The great rescue. The greatest rescue to have ever happened when God rescued man. Uh, the greatest one. Let history record as the greatest one that has ever happened. And I'm so glad he did. I'm so glad he didn't let me stay in my seat. And he thought of me. He thought of you. When you have been rescued, Lord, I pray. Easter will never be the same. Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. It is never about. Now, nah, ain't nothing wrong with a new suit, a new, new dress. But that ain't what it's about. Amen. Amen. <laughs> But when he has rescued you, I know when I was in throne with sin, it's like you was in bondage. And God came and retrieved you back. Now you are, you have been justified. You have been made right. Not to say that you didn't do wrong. You did wrong. Amen. But I'm going to make you right by my blood. I'm going to cover you with the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Make it right. Hallelujah. Yes, uh, Jesus. You was a sinner. Yeah. Uh, Amen. That's why we don't look down on us. Yeah. Uh, 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 such work. Such work. That's for some of you. Uh, 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 yeah. 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 So, but I, you know, you know they, they talk about Wu Tang, Biggest Ball, Tupac. I know about that. Mm -hmm. Such work. Such work. Some of you. Amen. You won't find it in my music collection. Amen. 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 That's why we preach the cross. Uh, God is able to deliver you. He's able to rescue you. God has no respect to person. But everybody is somebody Amen. in God's house. Pray my strength to the Lord.